Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan. I'm going to show you how to build a small eBay for a small rocket so you can do dual deployment. Uh, this is the kind of rocket that I'm talking about. It's fairly small, fairly generic. Uh, this is a BT-55 size. Um, the purpose of dual deployment is to get the rocket back without having to chase it so far. Um, so that's what it's typically used for. And small rockets can drift as far as large ones. Typically it's not used in a small rocket, but you might want to test out your electronics because that's what controls dual deployment in a small rocket before going to a bigger one. This is, uh, rocket is all set up for dual deployment and what happens is the rocket takes off, it reaches apogee, and then the altimeter, which is housed in this section right here, deploys and it kicks off the nose cone like this and the rocket just comes tumbling down uh, very quickly and because it's coming down so fast it doesn't have a lot of time to drift in the wind. You can use a streamer or a small parachute on this. Um, a lot of people like to go drogless uh, which means just using a shock cord as the streamer so that it falls really fast. You don't want to slow it down too much, particularly a small rocket. Um, then when the rocket gets down to a low altitude where it's where it's not going to drift so far if the parachute opens then the altimeter inside kicks off the nose cone and it pulls out the parachute and then the rocket will come down under the parachute and for a nice safe landing. So inside the rocket is this and this is our eBay which is what we're going to build. Uh, and then inside of this is the electronics. And I have in here a altimeter. And I gotta take this off too. Forgot all about that. If you don't take off the shock cord, you can't get the bulkhead off. <laughs> and later on I'm gonna tell you to if get a quick link so that you can do this much faster and what I'm doing here and now you can see why we want to use a quick link. A quick link is one of these and it just allows you to take it off really quick. Now, see this little bulkhead has to slide out. It wouldn't have slid over the uh, um, shock cord so that's why I had to pull it off. And then inside we have our altimeter and a switch and there will also be a battery right here plus igniters that go to the deployment charges and I'm going to show you how to build all that in the uh, next series of videos. There's two sizes on this particular style. Uh, we have the BT-55, also called 33 millimeter, and we also have a 29 millimeter, which is really good for the kits like the Apogee Aspire, which can go well over four to 5,000 feet on an F motor. And in that case, you definitely want to use dual deployment, if at all possible. Okay, so, I'm going to show you how to assemble this in the next series of videos and we're going to get started in the next one, so stay tuned.